Welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to use the power control functionality in SimCenter FlowTherm 2019.1. This feature, consisting of a new controller object and control attribute, allows frequency-based power control based on the temperature of a monitor point. To start, create a new control attribute. Here's one I created earlier. In the attribute data table, T low and T high ranges can be defined for each frequency curve. The order that you define frequencies does not matter. They are sorted based on frequency value when solving the project. To add a frequency, select the plus button. Another frequency is added to the table. The frequency T low and T high need to be defined. With a frequency highlighted, select the click to edit to define the power versus temperature data for the selected frequency curve. The title of this dialog is the frequency being edited. In this dialog, temperature power data can be manually inputted or inputted from a CSV file. When finished, select OK to save your changes and exit this window. To inspect all defined frequencies, select Control Summary. This shows a plot of all defined frequency curves with T low shown as blue and T high shown as red, plotted for each curve. For a transient analysis, if T sensor is higher than T high, then the controller switches to the next lowest defined frequency. If T sensor is lower than T low, then the controller switches to the next highest defined frequency. The frequency is updated once every time step. For steady state analysis, the frequency does not change. The starting frequency is used for the entire simulation. All of this data can be exported to CSV for external processing by selecting Option in the bottom left of this dialog. Now that the attribute is defined, we will set up the object. Create a new controller object in your source assembly. Simply highlight the source and monitor point, then drag into the new controller. You can also create a new monitor point and source within the controller using Project Manager Create. When a source is a child of a controller, its attached power is ignored. On the Construction tab, attach the control attribute from the drop-down then select a starting frequency from that attribute. The current frequency field will only be populated when a project is solved. After that project is solved, we can inspect tables to see the results. On the monitor point tables, the controller power and controller frequency tabs display power and frequency data of each controller for each time step. Using data exported from the Control Summary dialog and Visual Editor Monitor point tables, controller behaviour can be easily plotted. This plot shows how power is applied to the source with respect to the temperature for each frequency defined in the control attributes alongside a transient animation produced in Visual Editor. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our website.